Hi folks, it's Brad from We Be Fishing with some breaking news in the catfishing world here in the Commonwealth or the state of Kentucky. And uh, we're going to get right to that. If you've not joined us before on We Be Fishing, we're the podcast version here on YouTube. Uh, we thank you for joining us today. Uh, if you're a regular, thanks for coming back. We definitely appreciate that. Folks, this story, uh, we've been talking about Pay Lakes for a few years now in different aspects and so on and so forth. And uh, the importance of regulations on these Pay Lakes, especially the trophy Pay Lakes. Well, this investigation just happened. It's uh, actually, it's been an investigation uh, under uh, the Kentucky Fish and Wildlife, and I'm sure law enforcement here in the state for the last three years they've been investigating this. After a three year long investigation in 28 Kentucky Pay Lakes, uh, they were cited for negligence. A total of 68 charges uh, has been made against the 28 lakes. Now charging uh, charges are pending on another Pay Lake here in Kentucky right now uh, at the time of the airing of this show. Now, uh, again, I'm reading off some of this because this is pretty breaking news. Some of this just happened within the last few days and stuff is still rolling in on this. Uh, Kentucky, for the first time in 2019, placed some regulations on pay lakes. They had never really regulated them before. Um, in the investigation, fish were found to be obtained improperly, failure to document the purchases of catfish, and not uh, pertain, uh, not maintaining uh, proper records were just some of the 68 charges on there. Uh, now, many of these trophy uh, pay lakes were investigated. Uh, Kentucky puts a number or a limit number on the amount of fish that these pay lakes can stock that uh, where the fish has come from public waters. Now, many people uh, in the communities and, and uh, in the state have brought to the attention of the Kentucky Fish and Wildlife activities in these pay lakes that were going on. Uh, they also found uh, at these lakes uh, 20 and 30 pound fish uh, was very common. Now, fish take many, many years to grow to that size. If you're talking about channel cats and blue cats, it takes several years for a catfish to get that large. So it's probably not happening right there in that uh, pay lake. So uh, other fish were found. There was a 40 pound blue catfish found on the, during this particular investigation, a 47 pound fish. Uh, flathead was found. Now, who knows what else is out there? We have seen here and known people in Kentucky that catch fish out of these pay lakes that are much, much larger, larger than that. Now, we know a lot of these people are getting these fish improperly from our uh, larger lakes, public lakes, and of course our rivers. They're fishing these things with hoop nets and so on and so forth catching these and selling these uh, fish under the table to these trophy pay lakes so they can continue to catch this fish or have them caught over and over again, brag about it, make money off of them in uh, their tournaments, putting the fish back. Basically, these fish are starving, will eat anything that's got a hook on it. So if you're one of these people catching one of these fish, you've got nothing to brag about. you got starving fish out there. Uh, that basically the only source of food pretty much is your bait with your hook in it. So uh, these fish are being caught over and over and over again, released back into it. These are quality fish, these larger fish that are out here uh, being taken from our rivers, putting into these pay lakes to be just uh, used over and over and over, never to reproduce and continue the cycle of good quality genes uh, and, and continuing to uh, reproduce in our rivers and lakes, giving us fish for 
generations to come. That's not going to happen with these fish. They're just put in there to be caught over and over and over until they die. Uh, they're, we're just really abusing these fish. Now, uh, these investigations are, uh, these, these companies obviously have been cited, as stated before. There is one more currently still under investigation. And folks, we're going to bring you updates on what happens to this as soon as we find out we'll, we'll try and bring that to you uh and, and let you know this is something that needs to be regulated across the country folks if it's not talk to your uh department of natural resources there or your fish and wildlife or whatever you got or speak to uh, the united states fish and wildlife people themselves and talk about greater regulations needing to be placed on uh, pay lakes. So we people that like to fish the rivers, the lakes, the streams, have uh, these public waters, have quality fish for years and years to come because these bodies of water are being depleted many times by people of greed that are stocking these trophy pay lakes just to make a buck, folks. So... Make sure we contact people, can continue to do so. The efforts of the people that made contact with the fish and wildlife people here in Kentucky has paid off, right? Congratulations to you people. Again, we have brought it through our shows uh, here on uh, We Be Fishing or uh, definitely on our major program, uh, B&T Catfishing Adventures. We Be Fishing is a spinoff version uh, the podcast version of the we our B and T Catfishing Adventures uh, show that we have here on YouTube. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Be sure to share this episode uh, and get the word out that uh, some of these pay lakes they're going down. Right? We're going to uh, we're going to hold these people accountable if they're out there and they're running legal if you're getting your pay lake fish from farm raised catfish and you're stocking with that and you're there to make sure grandpa and little johnny have places to access uh easily and comfortably and safely and get a chance to catch fish that's fine we understand that but when you're raping our rivers our lakes and so on and so forth so you can fill your pockets over and over and over with the same fish that's quality fish, and you're breaking the rules to do it, you need to go down. And hopefully, uh, Kentucky Fish and Wildlife and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Departments and de uh, Departments of Natural Resources around this country will wake up and uh, start taking action against these people. Congratulations to the Kentucky Fish and Wildlife people. Two thumbs up to you guys for doing your job, getting out there and investigating this, citing these people, and hopefully on these trophy pay lakes, we get these things shut down, folks. Uh, there's no need for those, and they're just destroying our resources here, and, uh, you know, we just, we can't tolerate it any longer. So, thanks for watching, folks. We do appreciate it. Again, we will get this uh, update back out to you guys as soon as we have it again thanks again so much for watching we be fishing the podcast version of bnt catfishing adventure right here on youtube thank you so much and again be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing we'll talk to you soon take care and have a great day